Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Isan Kurs from Kurs Trading, and today we have another beautiful product from Bang Olsen. Today we have the BioLab 6000. Today we're gonna deassemble this product, and I'm gonna show you how to remove the the front cover and the base unit, and also the woofers and tweeters. The BioLab 6000 was uh, present in '92. Uh, and it also has been designed by the famous designer David Lewis. And you can actually get it in very different colors. It, you can get it in, uh, in this one silver, black, grey, blue, red, green and also a sky blue. You can actually uh, get it, uh, this aluminium back frame colored in different colors. The connections uh, for the BioLab 6000, it has uh, two power link inputs and uh, one line input. The speakers weigh a little over 6.2 kilos and the height is 110 and 20, 22. And is the amplifier units inside the BioLab 6000 is uh, class A and B. The first thing we need to do, we need to remove the front grill. It's very easy, you can just pull up and you can just remove it. As you can see, we have the one tweeter and the two bass units, woofers. And under here, we have the old electronics. We have the uh, power unit downstairs and amplifier. And the bottom, we have the input parts. So uh, I'm gonna show you all the steps, one by one, uh, removing all the parts and we should start with the Twitter. So now all the screws are removed from the Twitter unit. We can just take a flat screwdriver and pop it out. The driver, the Twitter driver is holding by uh, with the two uh, cables. Just remove this one and the other one. And here is the Twitter driver. Next step is uh, we're gonna remove the, the woofers. I'm gonna remove all the screws around. There's a full screw each on each side we need to remove. So I'm gonna process with that. Right now we have a little bit closer look at the woofers. Uh, you can uh, actually just put your finger in here and uh, press it down from the back. Or you can take a screwdriver, flat screwdriver and pull it out from here. So let's, let's try to do that. It's, it's glued. Sometimes it can be tricky to move it out. There we go. Here's the first one. And the Upper one is holding by two uh, cables, so we need to remove. Here is the driver, and we also have a, a part number. Let us continue with the the other one. Just pull if you can pull if you can pull it. Here we go. Don't be scared, it's just holding by some glue and the low one is holding by four cables. And here is the other one. At this moment we have uh, we have been able to remove all the drivers from the BioLab 6000. So uh, next step is I'm gonna remove uh, this area, this, uh, I think it's the chassis part. So I'm gonna split up the process and remove this one. I've been uh, zooming uh, to the product a little bit. So the uh, next step is uh, we have removed all the screws around the product, uh, around the chassis. I think we just pull it out. Just be gentle. Here we go. As you can see, Inside the BioLab 6000, there is also a rotten material inside. It is very important to remove that uh, because it can damage your product. Uh, 
so uh, I will highly recommend you to do that. In this video, uh, I will just remove it, but I think I will uh, make a separate video uh, where we install a new uh, uh, damping material inside the BLOP 6000. Uh, I also made a, another video with the BLOP 8000 where we deassemble it and also install it, install new uh, installation material in a one video. But this one, I will make uh, two videos. So. Uh, Next step is, uh, I think I'm going to take a vacuum cleaner and clean it up. We are finally done with the, the cleaning process for the BL6000. We have removed the damping materials, the bad foam damping materials inside the BL lab. So, uh, Next step will be uh, removing the, the base unit. The base unit is holding by some screws underneath here. So uh, I'm gonna lay down the BOLAP 6000 and I'm gonna remove the screws. Also I'm gonna show you uh, the connections. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do that. As you can see we have uh, the two power links and we also have the line in input. It's a little bit dark in here. We have the, the two uh, power links. And we have the line in input, and we also have the right and left switch, and we have also the power cord. So uh, we, in this uh, position, you're gonna remove the the three screws and remove the base. We have finally removed the screws, and we can remove the base unit. As you can see, we have laid down the BLF six thousand. Uh, also, in my uh, last uh, video with the BLF eight thousand. I didn't show you how we removed the, the top cover. So uh, in the build of 8000 and the build of 6000, there is uh, the top cover is holding by one screw. So let's remove the screw and uh, take out the top, top cover off. So we have removed the screw and it can be a little bit hard to remove sometimes, but, uh, but uh, let's give it a try. I think we should uh, uh, heat the, the glue up a little bit, but uh, I think it will be very hard to remove right now without the heat gun. Uh, we have to uh, remove the screw. The top cover can be holding by some glues and double sided tape. So uh, we're gonna use a heat gun. So we're gonna heat a little bit this area to remove it. Can, it can be very tricky to remove it sometimes. Let us try to remove, remove it with the, just be gentle. It's coming. Let us also do it not this side. Go. I know I'm damaging the product, but uh, this is only for the education level. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. So, uh, next time you're gonna remove this one, remember there is uh, one more screw inside the, the dust cover. So uh, that was a lesson for me. At this position, we're gonna switch the BO Lab uh, 6000 over to the electronic side, and we're gonna work on that side. As you can see, here's the BO Lab uh, 6000. Uh, in this section, we have the amplifier models, and over here, we have the power supplier, transformer board, and the input board. So, first, we need to do Safety first, we are now working with electronics, so we don't want to damage 
our products. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we're gonna remove uh, all the screws all the way down here. And so I'm gonna screw up the process and let's do that. We have uh, finally removed all the screws around the DBO Lab 6000 uh, chassis side with the electronics. So let's try to pull from the left side. We go and it's also glued so let's do that so uh, and here is the aluminium frame as you can see uh, here is the bad forming material inside the Velo 6000 and I highly recommend you to remove it because if the bad form material is dropping is dropping inside the, the electronics into the BLF 6000 it will damage the amplify board and it will also damage the power supply board so uh, again I'm gonna make a separate video where we install a new uh, damping materials inside the BLF 6000 as now I'm gonna remove uh, the aluminium frame so uh, let's concentrate us with the with this board so uh, here we have the amplifier board and the power supply board and also we have the input board here so uh, let's try to remove uh, all the the screws and remove all the parts we have finally removed all the screws uh, i think we should uh, remove this cable this is for the drivers so uh, that and to remove uh, this cooling system we just uh, do it, put it forward up and down and it will go and let's remove the cable from the power supply and we can easily lift it up and remove the cable here is the amplifier board And also the cooling paste. I'm gonna put it upside down. And next step is uh, we're gonna remove. Uh, I think it's the uh, temperature uh, board to shut down the whole complete uh, model if you get it too hot. So let's remove this one. Thing is, this one is, uh, is sometimes a regulator, temperature regulator. So uh, we also need to remove uh, this uh, clip. This holding by two screws. So we're gonna do that. We have finally removed the last screw and we can just pop it up and remove the clip and I think we have access to the power supply board. Just need to remove this cable and I think we also need to remove this one. So get some tools, remove the stripe. go and here is the power supply board for BLF 6000 as you can see this is uh, 230 volts EU, uh, EU but you can also actually change it so uh, you can change the, the power supply voltage directly on this board so we're gonna put this board aside Next step is uh, removing the power supply, uh, not, not the input board. The input board can be removed by here. Just remove it. But I think we should uh, remove the uh, strap first. 
remove the clips and I think we just remove it from there and here is the, the input board with the serial number and let's us uh, remove the, the screws from the, the board and also the cables so i'm gonna do that we have finally removed the screws and here is the, the input board with the blf 6000 and here is the shift part at this moment we are actually uh, done we have uh, removed all the parts from the blf 6000 uh, let's bring all the parts at the table and let's discuss and talk about the products. As you can see, we have uh, nearly the old parts at the table. Uh, we have the base unit, the stand for the build 6000, and it's holding by three screws. And you can also use this, uh, this cable management system to get the cables out. And we have the Twitter unit and here we have the, the driver and the driver is new, new, new surrounding as you can see is uh, in bad condition all nearly all of the build up 6000 if you purchase in second hand it probably need uh, new surroundings around the driver I'm gonna put this one aside and here is the the amplifier unit look like this and here is the power supply unit. And I think this is the, the temperature regulator to shut down the, the whole system if it gets too hot. And we have the input board. We can switch in the light and left and also to the line input. And here is the, the chassis to the input board. The cooling system. And I think we have uh, bring all the important parts at the table. So I hope you liked this video and this was a full disassembling process for build up 6000. So thank you for watching.